Carolina gopher frog is a threatened species in North Carolina due to habitat destruction across its range. It used to be known from 30 to 40 sites and it's now reduced to only six current populations, one of which is in the Sand Hills game lands where we are today. In this population, gopher frogs are only known from one pond, which presents challenges for the population. And because of this, we have undergone head starting, which is where we take eggs that are laid in the pond in the winter and we raise them in mesocosms or cattle tanks and release them at the site. There are, are two in this trap. Uh, this one right here has not started to develop his legs at all yet. So it's just a typical tadpole. And uh, you can see that the, the tail um, and uh, you know just that typical tadpole shape. So I'm gonna let him go. And then, in, then the, the other one I have in here has its front legs, back legs, but still has a full tail. Okay, and this uh, gopher frog is just a couple of days away from uh, being uh, metamor going, fully going through metamorphosis and being removed from the, the tub or the mesocosm here. Um, so um, you can see he has all four limbs, front limbs, back limbs, but he still has a significant amount of tail left. And he's gonna have to absorb that um, before he is uh, removed from the, uh, the water. Since June 23rd, we've had over 200 um, metamorphs uh, that we've released and we're continuing to release back uh, to where the eggs were collected from. Here's one that's actually a fully uh, developed frog, fully metamorphed frog. And what we'll do next is we'll take him in and weigh him. Okay, now that we've removed the metamorphs, from the uh, mesocosm, it's time to get a weight on them. So we weigh each of them individually. This one's 4.7 grams, which is just slightly less than the weight of a nickel. Once we get the weight on him, we are going to transfer him to this group tub where he's gonna stay until we're ready to mark them with the uh, visible implant elastomer prior to their release. Now we're ready to mark the metamorph frogs. We do this by injecting a visible implant elastomer under their skin of their leg. Uh, we can use different color to indicate which population and year which the frogs were released. Hey, today we're out on Sand Hills Game Lands. It's a Wildlife Resources Commission managed property. Uh, we manage this property for both hunting and for natural resources, including Carolina gopher frogs, which are a threatened species in the state. Um, today, we're gonna be releasing metamorphs, which were grown up at the zoo in cattle tanks. Um, and we're gonna release them back into this pond where we first collected the eggs.